Now this system may look familiar to some of you and you are correct because they share the same similar look just as the Rode Wireless Go. You better pay attention to this review because this system doesn't only come to you for a price that you can afford, so it will set you back for just 120 bucks, but it also offers plenty of features and one of them is a must-have features and that is monitoring real-time audio through the receiver. And that is a great touch, that is a professional touch and a must-have feature that you don't find on the Rode Wireless Go. You also get compatibility not just with cameras but also with your smartphones and tablets all your recorders whatever now sit tight relax and let's see first what you get in this lovely red and black box so this is the original box with the information showing around. You get a hard carrying case, the user guide, the receiver and the transmitter, a cold shoe with a quarter inch thread, two USB Type-C charging cables, a lavalier with a color clip and a foam windscreen, plus two connecting wires, one designed for TRS connections such as smartphones and the other designed for TRX connections such as in cameras. And now let's run into the features very quickly. So the system is comprised by a receiver and a transmitter also known as the RX and the TX that operate in ultra high frequency frequency spectrum from 570 MHz to 606 MHz with 36 different channels to choose from so that you know to avoid interference in any case. Both share same OLED size displays which show useful information in the screen such as the signal strength, indicates the TX or RX unit, shows battery life, shows this audio signal meter, channel number and the gain. The operating range between the receiver and the transmitter reaches up to 70 meters within the line of sight. Now both the receiver and the transmitter have built-in batteries and give the user 6 hours operating time. Now this is hard to believe when you know that the built-in batteries have a capacity of just 600 mA, which is teeny tiny, right? And they only weigh 70 grams, which is, you know, light as a feather. Now let's see how this system works. So this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. You can also tell by the microphone icon right on top. So this goes on your talent, the transmitter and the receiver goes on top of your camera or the audio guy that is going to, you know, monitor the audio. Now to power up, on the right side they both have a power button. Press hold for two seconds and they start up just like that and vice versa to shut down. Now both share similar design. On the back they have this nice little clip and I love it because it doesn't present any sort of writing or branding. So even if you are uh, placing this on the shirt of your talent, it doesn't advertise anything. So this is a great touch by the Pixel for the vocal air system. And on the left side you find the charging port. Now the transmitter has a built-in onboard microphone, which means that you can use it straight away without the lavalier. Just the unit itself place it right to your talent and you can start recording audio. But it of course also offers to you this lavalier uh, input microphone socket right here. And of course you can set your lavalier right there, right? So that is great. So it gives you two options. Now the receiver on the other hand has two different options. So first of all, you get a headphone output socket for real time monitoring audio. And there's also a 3.5 millimeter output which you can then feed it into cameras with a 3.5 millimeter stereo input. On the bottom, you can change the frequency in case of interference. You simply press the settings button once and move through the channels using the plus minus buttons. Now on the receiver, you can change the volume with these two buttons and on the transmitter, you can adjust the input gain in the same way. Now, one last thing in terms of functions before we head to the test is that you can actually mute instantly your audio just by pressing once the power button. Doing this, you basically stop receiving signal. Now, how about some testing? Till now, you have been listening to one of my many lavaliers. So this is the LCM1 from CK MOVA and it has a wired connection, as you can tell. And it is feeding audio straight to my Panasonic G9. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn off this LCM1 lavalier and I'm going to hook the receiver on top of my G9. So I'm going to use this cold shoe that you receive on the package. So I'm going to slide the receiver right in and then I'm going to slide the cold shoe on top of the hot shoe of my Panasonic G9 and voila, let's do it. So right now you're listening precisely to the built-in onboard microphone on the transmitter and I've set the input gain at 14 dB and on my G9 I've set it to the lowest possible at minus 12 dB. So yeah, now since the receiver does support to give you the chance to also plug in your headphones because it has this headphone output socket, I can monitor the audio and that is awesome. This is a professional touch. This is something you don't get on the Rode Wireless Go system and you get it on this guy which has the similar, you know, design just as the Rode Wireless Go but with a, for a lesser price and that is great. 
Now, uh, this microphone has an omnidirectional pickup pattern, which means that it picks up sound in the same intensity, in the same loudness from every angle. So if I'm going to rotate to other angles, so, so right now I'm talking on the bottom, you should expect the same loudness intensity. The same now on the side, now on the back, on top. So you, we can also try this with the lavalier that it comes with. So right now I'm on top of the mic, right now I'm talking on the sides, so this is how it sounds like, and right now on the bottom of the microphone, and yeah, so this is how it sounds like. Now, the transmitter, you can actually slide it to your shirt side, just like that, and you are ready to go, right, to, to record the audio, and that is great. Now, I haven't touched the audio in any sort of way, so it is not post-processed, I've just used LUFS, so you can hear it loud enough and naturally as it comes off just from the microphone. So yeah, now I'm going to give you a moment of silence and see the sub noise of the microphone. Now I'm going also to give you a moment of silence, but with the lavalier plugged in. All right, now let's do a proximity effect, right? Right now I'm talking to the mic like uh, three fingers away, and this is how it sounds like. Let's test the foam windscreen from, from wind and from blowing. Sister cell is cell C cells by the seashore. Now let's see how the transmitter itself does. Maybe it does better, maybe it does not. Let's check it. So right now I'm away from the microphone like three fingers away. This is how it sounds like. Of course, this is more vulnerable if we are going to blow on it or when there is wind. So, of course, it will clip, it will distort, of course. Sister Sally sells sea cells by the seashore. Now, this microphone has 90 decibel signal to noise ratio, which means that how much it picks up my voice versus other external noises. In this case, I'm going to try and type very harshly on my keyboard. So right here, I'm going to start typing. And I'm going, I'm just going to stay and keep talking to you guys and just see the difference that we get. And right now I'm going to stay silent and see just the noise of, of me typing on the keyboard. I'm actually going to play a music. Let me play a music because this is more interesting and I'm going to play it loud. And you know, this is how it sounds like. So I'm hopefully, let me actually, <laughs> of course, set the headphones. All right, uh, so this is how it sounds like. Well, I think it does uh, It does a fair nice job, right? It's still an omnidirectional mic, so keep that in mind because it's not cardioid to pick up just my voice, but it also picks up other other sounds, right? But still, still, it's, uh, I think it, it does a great job, right? All right, right now you're listening just to the level there. Of course, hooked on the transmitter, on the microphone input socket, and this is how it sounds like. Now let me take you outside and let's put on test the 70 meter operating distance. Now I'm out of those to test out the 70 meter distance of the Voical Air wireless microphone system. And as you can see, I've cleared the transmitter right on my short side. And also this is how the setup looks on my camera. And as you can see right here, I have the level here because right now is a little bit of breeze and behind the camera is staying the audio guard that is going to monitor this audio throughout this clip. And she's going to let me know now if using the level here you know, the, the signal is better, or at least audio has better quality. So how is better? Okay, so right now to have a clear line of sight between the receiver and the transmitter, I'm going to clip it right here on my jeans, on this small pocket, and I'm going to clip the level here right here. So right now I'm going to count steps. So here we go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is the 10 meter mark approximately and the signal is good, right? All right. So I'm going to walk backwards just to see if we are going to experience any dropouts. 7, 8, 9. All right. Right here is the 20 meter mark. The signal seems strong still. Great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is the 30 meter mark. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the 40 meter mark. Is it good? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and this is the 50 meter mark the signal is still going great I'm, I'm going to experiment a little thing now so if I like okay so when I turned my way back the reception between got lost right okay now I'm going for the 60 meter mark within a clear line of sight between the receiver and the transmitter four five six seven eight no the 60 meter mark how's the signal here good you can still hear me great vehicle hair is doing a great job you know Seven, eight nine and this is the 70 meter mark this is the maximum that uh, this uh, wireless microphone system operates 72 73 77 78 79 Okay guys, uh, so as you can see the operating distance of 70 meters within a clear line of sight uh, did a great job. I have to tell you, this area where I'm staying has a lot of TV broadcast frequencies on air and this is very very difficult to, to find an appropriate and a clear uh, signal uh, from my frequencies. Regarding the interference I found some at channel 25 and then of course I changed it and I came to channel 1 uh, for better uh, reception of course so you also need to make sure to have uh, the best to find the best channel for for your environment because uh, it depends from the from the zone from the area that you are because these frequencies of ultra high frequencies are have a mutual uh, frequency range with television broadcast and depending on your state where you live you also need to make sure about that so This system can be used for professional use in film, television, interview styles. And so I have prepared for you an interview style just to see how it works. One with the transmitter and the other with the lavalier. Enjoy. And I know that professional models transmit in VHF or UHF radio frequencies. In this case, Voicol Air, this guy right here, transmits in ultra high frequency. These frequencies are very common in over the air television broadcasts, right? So in order to avoid interference, the user must know what frequencies to stay away and this particular system, for example, has 36 different channels, so you can safely avoid interference. So my question to you is very, very simple. What are some advantages and disadvantages of wireless microphones? The biggest advantage is its freedom of movement. As the name implies, it's a microphone without a physical cable because a wireless microphone sends audio signals over the air thus using frequencies. Regarding disadvantages, they have a limited operation time due to low battery life. Another one is that the system doesn't work if you take the microphone out of range, in this case 70 meter max. Right, right. So as you mentioned, there is possibility of interference with other radio equipment or other microphones. You know, this microphone does a great job, you know, from the test that I'm doing and that I did also outside. I really love this kit. I mean, for the price that it comes, 120 bucks, man, it's nothing. Like, you get uh, this kit in this organized, hard carrying case. I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's just a great kit. All right, now let's talk downsides. Every product has its own downsides, right? Yeah, downsides. Now, first of all, the battery life could have been better, right? I mean, I have uh, used it for like two to three weeks and constantly doing different tests i've loved it but the battery life you know it suffers at two hours right two hours if you use it like constantly maybe max to three hours even if you give some breaks but the good thing about this system is that of course they come with this uh, usb uh, type c charging cables and you can charge them simultaneously also on the go through a power bank so that's a good thing now other than that it's very difficult for the price they uh set you back at 120 bucks right so it's very difficult to snatch any other cons out of this uh, wireless microphone system i really love it and i find it uh, very pleasing all right now let's sum it up now i think that this wireless microphone system is a nice kit to have the audio is very acceptable i should say way better than your camera of course uh, great for weddings interviews and it's also a good backup right on your back now this system offers plenty of features for the price that it retails right now don't forget this monitoring the audio real time through the headphone output socket on the receiver this is a great this is a professional touch because for the price they come you know you find these features just in very high expensive 
wireless microphone system. So this is a great touch, very professional. So you need that if you are going to use this for interviews, weddings, or such things to make sure that the audio is running uh, good without any problems. It offers, as we saw, built-in microphone right here without the lavalier. But also if you need the lavalier, you can just plug it in right in the microphone input socket and just get audio through a lavalier. Again, you get two USB Type-C charging cables. So that is great to charge on the go simultaneously without losing time. You also get this nice OLED screen display that shows different information. And what I really love the most, maybe in a way, is also the carrying case. This is a hard carrying case. It's, it's strong, it's very, very durable. It keeps your uh, kit very organized, well organized, and it protects it to death. Yeah, and I love it because it also it's also very very smooth, and it doesn't take place on your bag. I mean, look at the size of this, right? Just as your sunglasses. And without forgetting, this system can be used with a variety of devices, be that your smartphone, your camera, your tablet, your computer. Now, who's this for? This is ideal for any filmmaker's kit, any YouTuber that also shoots outside, because you never know when you know, distance becomes a necessity. And to me, this is a must have kit. Now, again, it retails for 120 American dollars in Europe. It's on sale for 110 euros and in UK for 130 pounds. And that to do it, guys, if you're interested to buy the Voicolaire wireless microphone system, I'm going to leave all the links, the official links in the description below so you can buy it. And yeah, if you do have any question, please leave it down below. I'd be glad to answer you and interact with you guys because you're so cool. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.